Hey guys, welcome to our video on how to actually insert a SharePoint version number into the actual body of a Word document. Now this is uh, achievable in a number of ways, um, one of which is via code, but we'd like to show you a method that requires no code and is pretty easy to implement. So we'll start off on the library in question and we're going to navigate to the library tab and we're going to navigate to library settings. Once within library settings, you'll notice information management policy settings. Inside of information management policy settings, you'll notice the option of document and folder. We're going to choose document in this example. Now all we need to do once the document edit policy window has loaded is to enable labels. In the label format area, what we'll be doing is we'll be taking something known as the UR version string. So that is basically a case of squiggly bracket and UR version string. Once that's enabled, simply all you need to do is you could control the font size and all the rest of it, but we'll simply at this point click OK. Now we're getting back to the actual library itself. We're now going to open up the document where we want to insert the SharePoint version number into the body of the document. Once the document's opened, navigate to the area where you'd like to insert the version number. Navigate to the Insert tab, navigate to Quick Pass, and under Quick Pass you'll locate Document Property. Property. From within there, you'll see an option called Label. And notice how that inserts the version number. Now, when you initially do this, you may see the words SharePoint UI version, or the UI version string. Um, however, when you save and close the document and then reopen, you will actually see the revision number. So just to point out, we've placed that in this part of the document. You could, of course, repeat the process and place it in other parts of the document. For example, if you'd like to place it in the footer, same basic concept. Now we go to the header and footer tools design tab. You can either go via document info, if you've got SharePoint 2013 or later, or quick parts. We'll go document info, we'll go document property, and then we'll see the label property. Clicking close header and footer, we're ready to save the document. Noticing later on if the version number were to change, if you were to open up that report or that document, the version number is displayed automatically. So guys, thanks for your time there. Hope you got something out of the video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, we look forward to hearing from you guys in the future. Cheers for now. Bye.